QNC, QNC, all amateur radio storm spotter groups and emergency managers. This is WX5OUN at the National Weather Service in Norman with the hazardous weather outlook. There is a moderate risk of severe thunderstorms through this evening across portions of Oklahoma and western North Texas. The most likely time for organized and significant severe storms will be after 2 p.m. through this evening. The moderate risk is east of a line from Cherokee to Lawton and Wichita Falls, and west of Holtonville and Durant. Locations west and east of the moderate risk are in an enhanced risk. Terrain hail, larger than baseballs, will likely occur with some storms this afternoon evening, with gusts at 80 miles per hour, and tornadoes are also expected this afternoon and evening. Storm spotter groups and emergency management personnel across the risk area should plan for severe weather operations through this evening. Once again, there is a moderate risk of severe weather from through this evening. WX5OUN, National Weather Service, North. QSA, OKB5, LOI, KLK. QSA, OKB5, LOI, in Comanche County. 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 Yeah, well, we got a host of folks out there listening. I thought I'd go ahead and throw out a QST to all of them. If you're monitoring or using this frequency or one of our frequencies this evening, we would urge you to find your microphone and beg you to hang it up. Don't put it in the seat with you. I don't want to hear your conversation, neither does everybody else. But if you're out and about and you just figured out where your two meter amateur radio is and you've got it tuned to our frequency, or while you have it tuned to one of our repeaters, find the microphone. Place it in a place where you won't sit on it and you won't sit on the key. We would muchly appreciate that. Okay, be five a little up. You're setting on your mic, ain't you? See, I had a candy in my mouth and it went the wrong way. W5MOF is my. There's W5MOF, KB5LLI.
Usually by now somebody tell me how many joules per kilogram we have, but I don't see any. JV five L L I. Large hail, scattered very large hail events to 
is four inches in diameter is expected. Widespread wind damage likely with isolated significant gusts to 80 miles an hour possible. The tornado watch area is approximately along and 50 stretching miles east and west of the line from 20 miles north-northeast of Ponca City, Oklahoma to 35 miles south-southwest of Brownswood, Texas. Uh, the complete list of counties will be broadcast shortly. Keep at the end. This is as follows for the tornado watch number 109, effective until midnight. In central Oklahoma, Canadian, Cleveland, Grady, Kingfisher, Lincoln, Logan, McLean, Oklahoma, Wayne, and Pottawatomie. In northwestern Oklahoma, Alfalfa, Major, Bay, Blaine, and Dewey. In southwest, southern Oklahoma, Carter, Love, Garn, Murray, Jefferson, and Stevens. In southwest Oklahoma, that includes Caddo, Jackson, Comanche, Kiowa, Cotton, and Tillman. In western Oklahoma, Custer, and Marshall. Also includes six counties in north Texas of Archer, Knox, Baylor, Wichita, Clay, and Will Barker. Keep out of the end. The National Weather Service has issued tornado watch number 109, effective until midnight central daylight time Wednesday. This watch includes the following counties in Oklahoma, Caddo, Comanche, Cotton, Brady, Kiowa, Stevens, and Tillman. Remember, a tornado watch means that conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail and damaging winds, and in close to the wash area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert to rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Sky warned. Sky warned. Net active. Well, just kind of an overall update for you folks out there listening without radar. Most of the activity is fired out to the uh, north and east of Elk City, toward Enid, and then on up into Kansas. Currently, uh, the storms to the south have uh, basically dissipated. However, uh, we do have a warned on uh, uh, storm there to the west of Enid moving to the, to the northeast. Uh, that one there currently is uh, getting organized and may, uh, may produce some here in a little bit. Look to be uh, pretty good hail coming out of that particular storm at this time. Uh, thunderstorm warnings continue for Alfalfa, Gray Arfic, Garfield, Major, until 3.30. And uh, uh, going to look and see if we had any actual... Uh, Hail reports, but I don't see any at this time. Uh, they are predicting up to golf ball size hail with that particular storm. That storm uh, is starting to show a little bit of a getting organized and may uh, may produce some here in a little bit. Look to be uh, pretty good hail coming out of that particular storm at this time. Uh, thunderstorm warnings continue for Alfalfa, Gray Arfic, Garfield, Major, until 3.30. And uh, uh, going to look and see if we had any actual uh, 
hail reports, but I don't see any at this time. Uh, they are predicting up to Gulf ball size hail with that particular storm. That storm uh, is starting to show a little bit of a of a hook on the end of it, and that's the one out to the west of and southwest of Enid current time. Uh, activity for southwest Oklahoma is coming. Uh, it is not developed, but uh, the low continues to churn and dig this way, and so uh, folks just need to stand by. Something's going to happen here in a bit, just don't know what. KV5 LLI. Sam's taking a nap. Sam's taking a nap. As I get home, N5 ZWS phone. Okay, when you get home. Who's the other station? Thank God for ham radio. It's the internet. Don't work too well. <laughs> Roger that. Well, I was going to ask you the other day, Neil, you, you still have guys get out and y'all got a machine y'all use over there? I haven't been keeping up. Yeah, it's a same old, same old. Same old guys, same old. Frequency that 147150. KC5 AMX looking at a blank screen. That yeah, mine's actually working. What on your NWS chat? Well, that one works, but nothing else. Yeah, it's pretty jammed up right now. It took a little while for my radar to load, that's for sure. But it's a going. Yeah, I'll just turn on channel 9, I guess. Uh, there's only 318, 319 people in the room, Terry. I wonder why. Yeah, 319 in the room. That might be why it jammed up a little, huh? I don't think I've ever seen that many people. 320, KE5, VJV. Yeah, I don't Go ahead. Give me a quick radio check, please, sir. That's coming in good. Need to drive that mic a little, but other than that, you're all right. Yeah, no, okay. I'm not one of those guys, but I went to take a frequency out of scan at noon, and that radio breaks for some reason, so I'm running my back up. There's a bunch of them out there that hadn't seen the radio until today. Then they get on the, then they sit on the mic the rest of the day. Yeah, that's a problem. I've used that radio once or twice this week. Today's the day. May not be a good time. Roger. Well, some stuff going up now. Some stuff's going up now in uh, Washtenaw. Let's see. Nice cow will wash on and then up north of, is that Custer County? It went up there a little earlier and, and dissipated, and now some new stuff is building. Uh, let me see where it's at. Custer City. Around Rappo and Custer City, Thomas. Some new, new stuff kind of going up, and we'll see if it'll hold together. This other business continues to move to the north, and, and uh, North northeast, it's up uh, south of Enid. Uh, I don't know wonder I'm looking at the wrong radar. Anyway, uh, it's pretty good stuff into the into Kansas, just to the north of the state line, west of I-35. 
and then the stuff out to the southwest of Enid is chugging along. That one there has, has a hook on it, but I don't know if it's real. And then this other stuff is back building back into Custer. We'll see if it goes this time. This it last time. We'll see what it does this time. KB5 LLI. This is going to be a significant weather advisory for Hardeman and Central Ford counties till 4 p.m. at 3.23 p.m. A strong thunderstorm was developing near Crow. Moving to the north at 30, this storm may become severe within the next 15 minutes. Hazards include hail, include hail up to the size of one half of an inch, and winds to 40 miles an hour. Once again, that's a significant weather advisory for southeastern Hardeman and central Ford counties till 4 p.m. KB5 LLI. Just to keep folks uh, up to speed on what's going on up north in northern Oklahoma, southeastern Alfalfa, southwestern Grant, northwestern Garfield, and east central major counties, severe thunderstorm uh, warning was uh, for a storm that's located four miles north of Lahoma, moving northeast at 30, two inch hail and winds to 60. Let's see here. There is a tornado possible with this particular storm. However, one has not been indicated, but one may form at any time. And once again, that's way up north in Grant, Alfalfa, Major Counties, Garfield County, and north uh, western Oklahoma. As for us, things are starting to pop out to the west a little bit. KB5 LLI. Go ahead. I just let you know we're over here uh, outside of all this. Uh, excuse me, we're sitting uh, watching those suns go up down south of the border, south of the border there. Um, we're keeping an eye on them. So if they come across and anything develops, uh, rapidly let us know. We'll go check it out. Roger that. KB7 LLI. Skyward, net active. The National Weather Service has extended the uh, tornado watch to include Ford and Hardeman counties in Texas until 12 a.m. Once again, the uh, National Weather Service has extended the tornado watch to include Ford and Hardeman County, Texas, until 12 a.m. KB5 LLI. National Weather Service has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Hardeman and east central Ford counties in north Texas. At 3.31 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located over Crow, moving to the north at 30. Hazards include ping pong ball size hail and winds to 60 miles an hour. This is radar indicated. People and animals outdoors may be injured by this big size hail and heavy and, uh, 60 mile an hour winds. Locations impacted include uh, Cole, Chillicothe, Margaret, Medicine Mound, Copper Break, State Park. Once again, severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Hardeman, east central Ford County, till 415 this evening. KB5 LLI. Good afternoon, KB5LLI. Repeater, the time is 3.35 p.m. 
Highway Service in Norman has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Hardeman and east central Ford counties in North Texas until 4.15 at 3.31. A severe thunderstorm was located near Crow. Movement is to the north at 30. Ping pong ball size L, 60 mile an hour winds. This is radar indicated. Locations impacted Crow, Chiricothe, Margaret, Madison Mound, Copper Break State Park. Cape Hopian. The National Weather Service is reporting golf ball size hail in Crow, Texas. Keep it again. You got it, Wade? Yep. A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 415 for southeastern Hardeman and east central Ford counties at 338. A severe thunderstorm was located five miles north of Crow or near Margaret. Movement to the north at 30. Golf ball size hill has been reported with this storm. As is golf ball to tennis ball size hill and 60 mile an hour Wind gusts. This is radar indicated. Locations in that include Coral, Chillicothe, Margaret, Medicine Mount, and Copper Break State Park. Cape and Egypt. Alrighty, for those listening in uh, amateur radio land, currently the uh, only thing going on in our part of the world is going to be down in. Uh, Ford and Hardeman counties. Uh, that activity continues to move to the north and looks to be intensifying a little bit. Uh, that new thunderstorm warning that was issued uh, indicates that with a growing hail size. And it's moving to the uh, north northeast, probably at about 40 miles an hour, something like that. It's not racing to the north, but it's coming across. It'll uh, Across the Red River there, just uh, about straight south of Altus there, here in about uh, probably 30 minutes or less. Give me five in the lot. Hello, hello, uh, KD, or I mean, KD4LKT, copy you. Um, we've actually repositioned, we are sitting outside of Schneider because we saw that storm coming up. Um, if you see anything uh, special on it, please let us know. Oh, uh, don't worry. Uh, it is in, continuing to intensify at this time, so I'll, I'll holler at you if I see something interesting with that particular storm. There's a boundary land right to the center of uh, Ford and Hardeman counties now, and it, they're kind of going up on that little bit of a boundary there, it looks like. I don't know. You can see it in the reflectivity on the, in the ground clutter, so it's coming up there in uh, central uh, Ford County and coming on up, so I'll update you. KB5 a little up. Appreciate that. Uh, KB4 LT, LKQ clear. Scale update. Surface winds from Oklahoma Mesonet and Western Texas Mesonet are more back across western uh, North Texas and southwestern Oklahoma. This area will be more favorable environment for increased low level shear. Keep that at the end. Together. That other stuff uh, continues to intensify crossing the uh, county line there into Hardeman County. And, uh, oh, let's put it in the southeast corner of Hardeman. 
that'll be coming across there about Elmer uh, if it continues on its current path. Uh, reflectivity is in it or it continues to rise a little bit. Should be putting out some pretty good hail balls. KB5 LLI. This is ground clutter off the radar of what, but also looks like another cell trying to go up uh, northeast, northeast of Chillicothe. Uh, that's the windmill farm south of Elmer. So, the later starting to pop, pop up all over. Should be five minutes of oil. Roger, did you copy Wade? Yes, yeah, sure did. Thanks, sir. Yeah, that clutter ain't moving his bunch of windmills. That's, that storm's headed for the windmills and then toward Elmer. We'll see what it does here in a bit. KB5 LLO. I don't know if we ought to read that one late or not on that discussion. There's a lot of words in there. No, I'm not bad. <laughs> it has some uh, vocabulary beyond me. I'll take a stab at it. I think I'll skip around it in here a little bit. So I may stutter, stutter and stammer a little. All right, the uh, area forecast discussion issued by the National Weather Service uh, about 3.49. The primary concern through this evening will be severe weather, which is currently isolated but developing across north central Oklahoma, as well as just south of the Red River in western north Texas. At the surface, the sharp dry line has caught up with a cold front nearly along the state line in western Oklahoma and the Texas Panhandle. Aloft, a large-scale trough digging across the southwestern U.S. into the southern high plains with the left exit quadrant of the 30 millibar jet Maxima right over western North Texas ahead of the system. Strong low-level moisture is in place with very unstable atmosphere aloft with Cape values in the 3,000 to 4,000 joules per kilogram. There we go, forest. The potential exists for supercell sun thunderstorms to fire up. The latest OUN uh, 18Z special sounding still showed a low level inversion in place above the boundary layer. However, low base forcing along the dry line, the cold front, along with some mid level forcing associated with the trough, should be sufficient to break the cap, resulting in widespread convection for the late afternoon into the evening hours. The strong cape value should certainly result in large hail and up to base. I'll have to continue that here in just a second. <laughs> Get me found a little. Skyward, net active. Right here, Wade. Just barely. No, that's correct, you better. Uh, I can make you out. Okay, I got a technical issue. I'll be back to be a five hour lunch. Alright, no worries. Everybody okay, can. Alright, I'm back. KB5 LLI. Alright, KB5 again. Sir, what were you trying to transmit? KB5 LLI. Oh, I was doing the forecast discussion. But, um, anyway, after reading it a little bit further, basically I can uh, surmise that uh, they think we're going to have some big storms later on and flooding chances will be low. Yes, sir. 
Hotel, KC5, HAA. Percentage storm warning remains in effect till 415 for southeastern Hardeman and east central Fort counties. At 354, a severe thunderstorm was located four miles south of Medicine Mound. Movement to the northeast at 35. This storm is generally moving in the direction of Chillicothe. Golf ball size to tennis ball size hail, 60 mile an hour wind gusts. This is radar indicated. Locations impacted include Chillicothe, Margaret, Madison Mound, and Copper Break State Park. Cape Etiquette. And for my stations down uh, south of Altus, that storm continues to grow in aerial coverage and is uh, going to be crossing the red just to the south and west of Elmer as that activity moves on to the north. Now, uh, like I said, uh, we uh, repositioned a little bit. We're in Snyder. Watching up, hopefully we'll be on the front side of it to see anything come up. Uh, so we're at Snyder watching it come up ourselves. Um, but if you hear anything hinky, please don't hesitate to call. KJ4, LKT. Well, uh, you might, it, it's, uh, it definitely has a strong updraft in it because of the hail size, and uh, it is showing a little bit of uh, uh, interest there in, in the uh, reflectivity, so uh, it may be something to look at here a little bit. Uh, myself, personally, I would... Uh, Probably start easing south toward Frederick. Could be probably a little lot. No, Roger that. KJ4 LKT. Forrest, are you looking at your radar scope? You see what that line did from uh, Fairview to Weatherford in the last 10 minutes? South for Fredericton. Now from Fairview to Weatherford. Yeah, if you're going to move south from Snyder, I'd move toward Frederick. That storm's going to move in there just south of Elmer and be along around Tipton and out to the west of Tipton, so it'd be a better place to look at it. You'd be looking at it head on if you're at Snyder, and the best place to be is going to be to the south and east of that storm as it comes across the red. TSL, LLI. We are headed towards Frederick. We're on the road now, huh? There you go. Roger that. Just went from standby. Let's see. Now uh, it went from just a few scattered storms to a complete solid line there in two scans.
what it does here, but that's kind of out in front of the line a little bit. Uh, going to be uh, north and west of Geronimo, southwest of Lawton. We'll see what it does. KB5 LLI. Away from radio for just a second here. Get it back in. Yes, sir. And just for giggles for you guys down south, up north, uh, thunderstorm warnings continue for Alfalfa and Garfield counties. Uh, new severe thunderstorm for Custer and Dewey counties coming up here shortly. But uh, those storms up there are not mature, but they're well on their way to uh, putting something on the ground here a little bit. Looks like they're trying anyway. At least that's what the helicopter shows. This is a little bit out of our area, but I'll go ahead and read it right quick. Uh, the National Weather Service in Norman has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Custer, northeastern Custer, northern Blaine, eastern Dewey, and southwestern Major County in northwest Oklahoma. 402 severe thunderstorm is located four miles northwest of Thomas, moving northeast at 35, winds to 60, and hail to quarters uh, are expected. Once again, uh, severe thunderstorm warning for Custer, Blaine, Dewey counties. Till 4, till 5 p.m. KB5 LLI. Here we go. The National Weather Service in Norman has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for South Central Jackson County in southwestern Oklahoma, West Central Tillman County in southwestern Oklahoma, East Central Hardeman County in northern Texas, Northwestern Wilpargo County in northern Texas, at 4.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 4.04 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located skyward. Okay. A uh, severe thunderstorm is located four miles southeast of Chillicothe, moving northeast at 25. Another severe storm was forming 10 miles southeast of Chillicothe. Hazards is two-inch size diameter hail and winds to 60 miles an hour. Once again, severe thunderstorm warning for South Central Jackson, West Central Tillman, East Central Hardeman, and Northwestern Wilbarger counties till 4:45. KB5 LLI. I'll be back in just a minute, Terry. Had to do something here in the house that I couldn't do up in the shop. Out of TP? Uh huh. KB5 LLI. Thank you, Terry. Good night. You're the viewer. You're quite welcome. That activity in western Comanche County that I mentioned a while ago continues to move to the northeast. Uh, it's not uh, not losing any ground and not gaining any ground, so uh, that bears watching for a little bit. The activity there in uh, Hardman County continues uh, north and east, and it uh, really has an updraft with it. It's throwing out a pretty pretty big uh, reflectivity area now. And the northern end of that storm is just fixing across the Red River and across the uh, Wilbarger and I think it's Wilbarger. I think it's Wilbarger and uh, part of the county line. Anyway, it's coming across the, the county line there, going to the east, and then uh, across the Red River just to the uh, south of Elmer, and uh, be just probably to the west of Tipton if it doesn't uh, start to move right a little bit. We'll see what happens. KB5 LLI. KB5 LLI. 
Yeah, I'm back. Roger. Yeah, I'm back. Uh, as long a duration event is going to be, we're going to probably hand this off back and forth a little bit so we got time to get up and do something else for a little bit. Uh, I've got Troy in the bullpen. He's going to be the next pitcher up here in a bit. We'll let him do his thing. You can do what you need to for a while and we'll come back. Okay. Just let me know and we're good. Look at the reflectivity of the last radar scan of that business out to the north and west of Lawton. Uh, is that that hangy down guy that you can move on Google Maps? Jesus, I don't know. I think... <laughs> I really don't know. Kind of looks like him. Yep. He's running, ain't he? That running guy is headed for me. Yep. I thought it didn't rain at your house. It didn't. I'm in Antarctica. Oh, you're still in shock. Roger. All right, that activity there to the south of Elmer continues to grow in aerial coverage and uh, reflectivity and all that good stuff. It has now crossed over into Oklahoma, the northern end of it. However, the uh, business end of this storm still continues in Hardeman County, in the far eastern Hardeman County, just moving across the uh, county line there into uh, Wilbarger County. Continue, if it continues on its current track, it's going to pass right to the east side of Elmer and just about tipped him. For those folks that are going to look at that from the Frederick area, a uh, person may want to go to go to Frederick and then uh, maybe go off to the west just a little bit. And uh, but I'd want to I'd want to hang somewhere where I could get back to the north there as that storm continues to the north. Other activity has uh, formed in uh, Knox County, however, it's dissipated as it moves north. Uh, other new activity is formed in uh, uh, Ford County, that's dissipated. So, anyway, that's the only show we've got in town here uh, in far southwestern Oklahoma is this activity coming across the red there south of Elmer. Yeah, we found that a little out. And in the last few scans, the uh, southern end of the business end of the storm uh, is moving, uh, at least reflectivity-wise, is moving to the east now, east, northeast. So it's going to uh, pass uh, to the west of Frederick as the bottom end of that storm kind of crossed to the east a little. Can be find a little Skyward, net active. Remember that 7-Eleven back there that ran out of Tennessee last year? I do. Terry, this is the wrong mic. Uh, this is Terry, not Mike. Go ahead, uh, Wade. Hey, 
severe Cashtown warning remains in effect until 445 for South Central Jackson, West Central Tillman, Eastern Hardeman, Northwestern Wilburger County. At 418, a severe thunderstorm was located near Fargo, movement to the northeast of 35. Tennis ball size hail, 60 mile an hour wind gust. This is radar indicated. Locations impacted include Chillicothe, Elmer, Ardale, and Fargo. Cape hey, of Quick radar update that uh, activity continues to increase uh, in uh, aerial coverage there. The business coming out of uh, Hardeman, Wilburger County, into southern Oklahoma to the south and west, or south and east of Elmer now. It extends from southwest of Olusty to the Red River and then to the east along the Red. The major uh, reflectivity of uh, that storm uh, continues to grow a little bit and it's going to come across and be just to the west of Frederick and then continue towards Snyder. Anyway, uh, those folks in the Frederick area and in the right in there will be able to look back into the uh, to the east side and southeast side of that storm as it continues to come up. It's kind of cycling right now. I just went across the uh, wind farm uh, out there and it's kind of uh, messed it up a little bit and it's reorganizing uh, a little bit farther to the east so anyway we'll see what happens here as it crosses on into the uh, state here. KB5 LLR. KB5 LLR, this is KJ4 LTC. I copy uh, we're down here. Um, uh, we got some awesome looking up, uh, updrafts on it. I'll bet so. It's kind of by itself. It's the, it's the hoss. There's nothing within, you know, a couple hundred miles of it that's really, there's nothing south of it, so it's getting all the juice. So, anyway, it's coming on to the north and east. Give you five a National Weather Service in Norman has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Kiowa, northeastern Jackson, southeastern Greer counties until 515. At 430, a severe thunderstorm was located near Olusty, moving to the northeast at 35. As it to in Carroll and 60 mile an hour wind gusts, this is radar indicated. Locations impacted include Altus, Blair, Olusty, Martha, Friendship, Borden, Altus Air Force Base, and Hess. Go for it again. Skyward. Boy, LKC to KB5, LLR. Step away from radio, man. This is K5WN. Can I help? I'm a little bit scratchy. I'm kind of out here away. I don't have any other uh, repeaters out here. I'm on 255. But uh, I'm on this storm down here that uh, south of Tipton. We were talking to Terry. It uh, um, seems to be getting a little bit better organized down here. We've got a lot of scud starting to rise up into the lower back end of this uh, storm. Uh, looks like something's trying to develop on the back edge of it. And we are on, uh, but 5 and 15 looking west. 5 and 15 looking west. Okay, yeah, I'm trying to keep an eye on that because it's starting to show uh, pretty good inflow notch here, here on radar. No, roger that. Wait by that end. All right, I'm back. I was uh, monitoring HT. Now, the activity has uh, really blossomed there as it comes across the uh, Red River, extending all the way from uh, west of Olusty, 
south of the Red River, east to Tipton, and then back to the Red. Anyway, uh, as Wade stated, uh, it looked like the intensity, uh, reflectivity in the hail is really uh, starting to come out of that storm just to the west of Frederick now, about five or eight miles. Should be dumping some pretty good hail out that way. Give me five hello. K B five L L I. Basically, that storm there to the south of, of Altus has split and has a heavier core off to the south and west of Altus. Continues northeast. The other activity is going to be uh, uh, to the west of Frederick. That continues to the northeast. And the heaviest uh, uh, hail core and reflectivity is going to be just to the north and west of Frederick. There, a little ways, looks like. And the uh, business end of the storm just crossing the Red River uh, to the south and west of Frederick. KB5 LLI. Skyward, net active. Wade, you got enough snacks and Kool-Aid to take you to 5.30? Oh yeah, I'm good. Okay, about that time, uh, Troy's gonna come in and uh, uh, ping you there a little bit and then he's gonna take over for a little while. It sounds great to me. KB5 LLI. That's all he does is he, AKA. Careful. He's sensitive about that. KB5 LLI. Tillman County, and Northwestern Wilfarger County. 
until 5.30 at 4.43. A severe thunderstorm was located four miles north of Fargo. Movement to the east at 45. Tennis ball size hail, 70 mile an hour wind gusts. This is radar indicated. Locations impacted include Elmer, Fargo, and Odell. Cape Olympian. Let's say go ahead. Quarter size hail, four miles west of Gibson at current time. Quarter size hail, four miles west of Gibson, current time. I'll pass it on. Skyward. Office Emergency Management reporting uh, nickel size hail. Current time in the city of Altus. Keep it up again. Uh, EWC, step away from the radio for a minute. This is K5WN, can I help? Hey, I've got a spotter. Uh, that's that indicated a possible wall cloud that's uh, located uh, about three miles south of Tipton at the current time. Okay, I'll pass it on. A possible wall cloud three miles south of Tipton. K5WN. Uh, KB, KJ4, LKT, I can verify that wall clause we're looking at it right now. We are unable, repeat, we are unable to verify if it's rotating, but we do see the wall clause south of Tipton. I'll pass it on. KB5, LLQSL. Skyward, net active. All right, a quick radar update. Those uh, storms, uh, that storm did split into two storms. Uh, one of them moving uh, across the Altus and moving to the north toward Blair at this time. The other storm uh, moving across the Red River and extends to the south and west back into Wilbarger County from just to the west of Frederick and Tipton. That activity continues to move and to the northeast and build to the east. Uh, pretty good hail cores uh, associated with this activity in the, to the uh, now just to the south and east of Elmer and to the west of Tipton. Uh, looks like some pretty good hail falling out of that. Uh, they do have, uh, both the storms do have updraft areas in them, so... Anyway, they bear watching there as it continues to move off to the east, northeast, or northeast. KB5 LLO. Alrighty, what, uh, what stations do we have there located uh, near Frederick and Tipton at this time? Call signs only, please. All right, this is KT4LKT. All right. Uh, we have any other amateurs uh, located near Frederick, Tipton area at this time? Uh, Brian, you gotta go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, I got Brian. Who's the other station? Whiskey X-ray 5, myself at all. Uh, reporting, uh, wall crowd, uh, it's rotating and we do have a funnel halfway to the ground at current time. I am, uh, on 5 at, uh, 215, 5 miles west of Frederick, looking northwest towards the Tipton Airport. About 5 miles to my northwest, looking towards the Tipton Airport at 5 and 215. Okay, and you have a rotating wall cloud with a funnel halfway to the ground. Do we have any other spotters that uh, can confirm? Okay, 
55 PQP, kind of five miles south of Tip on Highway 5. Definitely got a wall cloud. Definitely has a rotation. It is about halfway to the ground. If you flip this way south and go back up, I say you're keep going to the ground and coming back up.
I got a ride. It's KG4. I'll take you. Go ahead. What do you have now? Now we're looking at the, uh, the wall, uh, the cloud came down, went back up, but now we have a wall cloud reforming and it's starting to wrap up tighter again. That's what we have currently, uh, we're about six miles west on I-5, outside of Frederick, looking to our northwest towards Christian Yen. Um, sun looks real healthy. How far did we see that on radar? WX5OUN, WX5OUN, KB5 LLR. WX5OUN, go ahead, sir. Just want to make sure y'all copying this, okay? We're copying every bit of it and appreciate every bit of it. Uh, keep up the good work. WX5OUN. Thank you, sir. KB5 LLR. Go ahead. Uh, west of Tipton, a couple of miles, they're, now they're experiencing golf ball size hell again. So, um, you may have got the word, uh, the word that uh, there was a final that's moving uh, east, northeast of Tipton right now. Okay, how far west? About two miles west is where you started getting the, the hail. I think it's there for the storm hail. Okay, did you say it's golf ball? Four. Was that falling or he just come on it? Falling. Velocities appear showing real good rotation, uh, real close to the uh, Tipton area, uh, and, and uh, yeah. Yeah, Roger that. Okay. Uh, let's get a report from any of our ground stations over there. Anybody uh, give us a report from what they see current time? in and around the Tipton area, KB5 LLR. everybody else so we don't have to hunt for those specific spots on the map. Uh, they going to put you to the south of Tipton? The southeast of Tipton between Frederick and Burton. Uh, affirmative. Okay. Thank you, sir. Gave me five that little eye. Any other stations with a report from uh, the Tipton area? Go ahead. Current time we have 50 mile an hour wind, one mile west of Tipton. Right that way. It's 50 mile an hour wind, one mile west of Tipton. Winds to 5 0. Do you know what direction they're out of? No, I don't know. I'll check on that. Weather. I bet you they're northwest. Stand by for a warning. The National Weather Service in Norman has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for South Central Kiowa, Southeastern Jackson, Northern Tillman, West Central Comanche County until 6 p.m. At 5:11, a severe thunderstorm was located near Tipton. Movement to the northeast at 45. Another severe thunderstorm was located over Edrick. 
Golf ball size held 60 mile an hour winds as the radar indicated. Locations impacted Frederick, Cash, Snyder, Gibson, Mountain Park, India Homa, Manitou, Hedrick, Cooperton, Humphrey, Tom C. Reservoir, Southwest Fort Hill, Hess, and Western Wichita Mountain Wildlife Refuge. K5W. One. I'm sorry. K5W. Yes, go ahead. Was out of the south. South at 50. All right. One mile west of Kipton. Winds to 50 out of the south. Thank you, sir. KV5 LLI. tornado warning for Tillman County, uh, but a uh, rotating wall cloud was seen on Highway 183 south of Manitou looking west. It is trying to become rain wrap at the time. Rotation is broad but noticeable. That's from uh, uh, chat. Uh, okay, thank you, sir. KB5 LLI. There might be a new area of concern folks need to look at straight west of Frederick, straight west of Frederick. Look back in that way, guys. Look back to the south and west. And the last thing you show, uh, confirm and watch your look at the sand. From uh, Comanche County Emergency Management, they said on uh, County Highway 1780 East and North 2170, looking three miles to the northwest, uh, one to two miles north, light to moderate rotating wall cloud. Carry that up again. MDU, are you with us? Let's keep the radio traffic down 
If you don't have anything severe to report, we'll just stand by. This is KB5 LLI net control. Roger. The National Weather Service in Norman has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for K5 UFC to LLI. Go ahead. Uh, got a spotter five miles north of Frederick on 183. Uh, said there was a lorry and a little rotation to it at current time. Okay, well, I wonder where the rotation and the lowering is from his location. It'd probably be another mile or two up. It'd probably seven miles. It'd be south of Manitou where it's at. Okay. So south of Manitou, between Manitou and Frederick, we've got, uh, you might quiz him just a little bit more. That may be back to the, that may be back to the west of Manitou a little bit. Uh, if you want to quiz him a little bit, but if you're sure of that one, we'll go with it. Oh, let me quiz him. Okay, reflectivity doesn't show anything there, so that's why I was wondering. Ask. Uh, the other station needing a, a report of where this is going on. Uh, you know, we're talking about the area between Tipton and Manitou, uh, south of 62, uh, south of Sunday Nighter, uh, back to the northwest of Frederick. Over. PX5 is net control. Station, go ahead. I'm, I'm looking that direction, and uh, we're about that same distance out. I'm not seeing anything to confirm that. Uh, it should have come down and gone back up, but at this time, I cannot confirm that report. Okay. Now, I hollered at you a time or two. I guess you lost your radio.
we timed out. On the uh, weather radio, we're back. Yeah, it's back now. Uh, UHF stays up. I guess I'm going to turn that UHF beam vertical still horizontal. I guess so. That activity that's now back into uh, far eastern uh, Hardeman County now. Uh, of course, that's, um, storms continue to build along that line and uh, now are coming up along the, the county line there on the south end Hardeman County. Uh, that activity continues to build and then uh, uh, kind of coming to the line there. That line now stretches all the way from Hobart to Roosevelt, down through Mountain Park and Snyder, just to the east of Hedrick, down through Tipton and Humphreys, off to the southwest across the Red River and back into uh, Hardeman County, Texas. Uh, if we have any more reports of any rotation or anything with that storm, uh, we'll take those now, KB5 LLI. The National Weather Service in Norman has issued a flash flood warning for South Central Kiowa, West Central Cotton, Eastern Jackson, Tillman County, and Western Comanche County until 9.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 526, Doppler radar indicated thunderstorms producing heavy rainfall up to two inches of rain have already fallen. Some locations will experience flooding include Northwest Lawton, Altus, Frederick, Cash, Snyder, Grandfield, Tipton, Chattanooga, Mount Park, Madison Park, India, Homer, Roosevelt, Manitou, Baxton, Elmer, Edrick, Hollister, Greenship, Loveland, and Humphrey. Okay, but again. Skyward. Uh, Wade, I'll be away from radio here for about three. KB5 LLI. Okay, no problem. Okay, but again. Sir, we are on highway one halfway between uh, Frederick and Manitou. We have a small halfway turn on the switch from location. Okay, from your location, where is it located? Working uh, northwest, uh, and, and we're at 183 and 1750 looking northwest. About how far from you? Two miles away. Okay, and that's uh, on northwest of your location, correct? So. Okay, okay, but again. This is Kate by the end. KB5 LLI. Okay, this is a severe thunderstorm warning. Uh, remains in effect until 6 p.m. for South Central Kiowa, Southeastern Jackson, North Tillman. And West Central Comanche at 526, a severe thunderstorm was located five miles southeast of Hedrick. Movement towards the northeast 25 to 35. Weak circulation was noted with a storm between Hedrick and Manitou. Very large hail will occur with this storm. Golf ball to tennis ball size. Wait, 
think we missed a lot of that. Hang on here a minute. Weather radio alert off. Tell me that again. The thunderstorm warning remains in effect till 6 p.m. for South Central Kiowa, Southeastern Jackson, Northern Tillman, West Central Comanche County. At 527, a severe thunderstorm was located five miles southeast of Hedrick. Movement to the northeast 20, at 25 to 35. Weak circulation was noted with a storm between Hedrick and Manitou. Very large hail will occur with this storm. Soft fall to tennis ball size hail. 60 mile an hour wind gusts as the radar indicated. Locations impacted Frederick, Gag, Snyder, Tipton, Mountain Park, India Home, on Manitou, Hedrick, Cooperton, Humphrey, Tom Street Reservoir, Southwestern Fort Seal, Harris, and Western Wichita Holes, Mountain Wildlife Refuge. Stay by the pin. Stations near that uh, activity there around Frederick, Tipton, Manitou area, with eyes on it. Five uh, UWC. Um, there is got you know, spotters up there, and there seems to be some broad rotation up there. Uh, this is the last I heard, and it was kind of north of uh, Manitou. Up uh, 183. Okay. I appreciate that. KB5 LLI. Skyward Net Active. Hey, also the NWS is reporting uh, 45 to 50 mile an hour wind gusts in far western Oklahoma uh, behind the dry line. Roger that. Channel 6 is reporting a rapidly rotating wall cloud over 183 south of Snyder. Then another spotter just reported setting three miles east of Snyder looking west. Wild Cloud is becoming more organized just south of Highway 62 near Snyder. Does have moderate rotation and a beaver tail forming. Keep it up yet. Severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 6 p.m. for South Central Jackson, Western Tillman, East Central Hardeman, and Northwestern Wilbarger. At 534, a severe thunderstorm was located near Odell, moving to the northeast of 30. Golf ball to 10 ball size hail, 60 mile an hour wind gusts. Radar indicated locations impact include Chillicothe, Elmer, Odell, and Fargo. Cape by the pin. K-B-5-L-L-I. Repeater, the time is 5.38 p.m. N-5-V-I-N, K-B-5-L-L-I. Yes. Got your pooter going? In the cold, right? Roger. Standing by. All righty. Wade, whenever you want to take a break, he's ready to go. Okay, uh, when you hear me back. Uh, about an hour, probably. Okay, be back in about an hour. Can you put up yet? Thank you, Wade. We'll see you back here in just a bit. All right, you're on deck, Corey. Get it. KB5 LLI. Net control. K5 
Okay, Troy, I'm v in the vehicle right now, so I don't have any radar data, so do your thing. Roger. N5 VIN. Let's have a report of golf ball confirmed in Snyder current time. Looks like a pretty good notch there just southeast of Snyder. Well, they, they have any spotters near the Snyder area, you can take a look at that for us. Just to the south and east of Snyder, it looks like a inflow notch right in there somewhere. Five LOI, this is KG4LKT. We're on uh, 180, what is it? It's uh, 183, right at Snyder. Uh, we definitely have a lot of rotation. I can't tell what info notches you're talking about, though. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see. Uh, that's, a, that's one of those terms. Anyway, uh, it looks like it's notched right there, so we're looking to see if you have any rotation or anything in that area. Well, we have what we, you know, we, we're debating whether to call it a small rotating wall cloud or scud hanging. It's definitely rotating. There's movement, but I, I can't confirm anything at this point. Roger that. Thank you, sir. Can't be five little lot. National Weather Service has issued a significant weather advisory for Custer, Southwestern Dewey, Northwestern Washita counties until 6:30 at 5:39. Strong thunderstorm was five miles west of Burns Flat, moving north at 60 miles per hour. As include hail at the size of nickels, wind gusts of 50, and cloud ground lightning. In 5 a.m. Would you, when you do that, would you tag that out with what that was again? Because I could lose track. Was that a warning or a significant weather advisory? It's just significant weather advisory. Okay. See? Got lost. VIN with a severe thunderstorm warning. This is a severe thunderstorm warning for eastern Kiowa County, southwestern Caddo County, southeastern Jackson County, northwestern Tillman County, northwestern Comanche County, and northwestern Wilbarger County in northern Texas until 6 until 6.45 p.m. at 5.55 Severe thunderstorm was located along a line extending from five miles east of Cooperton to four miles east of Hedrick to six miles north of Fargo, moving northeast at 30 miles per hour. Hazards include ping pong ball size hail and 60 mile an hour wind gusts. Locations impacted include Altus, Frederick, Cash, Carnegie, Apache, Snyder, Tipton, Alusty, Mountain Park, Medicine Park, Indiahoma, Roosevelt, Manitou, Elmer, Edric, Friendship, Cooperton, Humphreys, Mears, and Lake Lutonka. That's a severe thunderstorm warning until 6.45 in 5 a.m. Hi, Hi, this is Weather radio monitor off. Skyward net active. Fire uh, Yeah, go ahead. Bad piece out here, Bill City, current time. Size hail and Deal City current time. Okay. Uh, is it raining? I didn't get that. You gotta wait a minute and then tell me. You say yeah? Yes, sir, it's raining. All right. 
All right, it's the hail gets any bigger. Can't be five out of the lot. Alrighty, fellas, uh, I'm gonna give y'all a little time to talk about what you might, uh, what you might have, or what you're seeing, and where you're at. My station's down uh, with that activity south of Snyder. Uh, if y'all'd like to make a few comments on that, now's the time. KB5 a little up. Current time. Two west of Tipton, golf ball. Current time. 
Area 5 O U N, KB5 LLI. East Central and Beckham County in western Oklahoma. Northeastern Greer County in southwestern Oklahoma. Until 7 p.m. Central Daylight Time. I got it, W-5-O-U-N. O-U-N, uh, and we've got a minute. We've got a lot of guys down here on this business here to the south west around Snyder and such. Uh, we've got, somebody's got a chance to talk to us a little bit about that and kind of give these folks some direction what we, what may or may not be happening with the storm and such as that when you get a minute. Yeah, let's give you a quick update. We have basically three storms, uh, three cells that are pretty intense. Um, the leading cell has occasionally shown signs of brief rotation. Um, we'll continue to monitor it, but definitely the storm northeast of Snyder is the most intense, and that looks like it's going to continue tracking toward the northeast, toward um, eventually maybe near into Darko. Okay. Well, is there any activity associated with that currently that, that bears watching, or is it kind of cycled down for now, or what we got? For now, it has cycled down, though. If there's an area of interest that you know, we're going to continue to monitor, it's just southwest of um, Mears. There's, you know, that area we have inflow, kind of inflow notch and reflectivity. So that would be an area to watch right now. It looks like it has cycled down, but... That would be the area that we're most concerned about. WX Bible UN. All right. Thank you, Sarah. Appreciate the update. KB5 and a little up. WX Bible UN. Uh, did you have a report uh, down there, golf ball size hail? If so, where was it? Uh, yeah, golf ball is two miles west of. Uh, Tipton, and that would have been three minutes ago. All right, thank you. Let me explain what you meant. And put it on the tab, in the VIN. Oh. Oh. Well, the tail end of the storm around Tipton is getting to look a little more interesting. Looks like a pretty good hail core just uh, straight north of Tipton. And it's all moving northeast in the same old train. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong, looks like we've got a secondary line that extends from up near Woodward to south to Elk City and then down to Mangum there north of Altus and then picks up again around Quana, Texas, just south of the Red River and then uh, goes off into a pretty big line all the way down Abilene and on Point South. Our other line that we've been talking about is uh, uh, from uh, around Tipton to Snyder, to just south of Carnegie, and that activity continues to move off to the northeast. I think uh, that's what we got right now. KB5 LLI. Skyward, net active. Tornado warning on that one south of Haskell for a while, so it's expired. Yeah, I saw that down, down in Throckmorton County and down that away a little earlier. That uh, pretty good system. That is liable to move out here and kind of soak uh, some of the energy up. But looks like there's some. Uh, Kind of discreet stuff around Mineral Well, Jacksboro, and all down in there is kind of by themselves, but they're kind of mushy looking. But uh, anyway, the area of interest on that uh, storm uh, 
going to be just uh, near Mears and near Tipton at this time. Okay, be five L lot. Looks like the sweeper is going to connect there in western Oklahoma and around Mangum and Altus. And that'll be our sweeper, it looks like. Well, that's what it looks like. They were discussing there earlier about uh, the. Uh, I'll stand by and I'll read this. I do see something uh, in the eastern uh, Texas Panhandle moving in some regular activity there. I don't know what it is exactly. Some kind of boundary. Oh, Merge is moving to the I 35 corridor. So that's what they're doing. And that occurs. There it just all went down. I double with you there for a bit. What was the first part of that? Somebody ping pong to drop down. Um, they're talking about it merging, which it is, and moving to the I-35 corridor. If that occurs, that would be a mitigating factor for significant tornadoes. So that's what they're saying. Uh, what kind of factor? Mitigating. A mitigating factor for significant tornadoes. This merging process. Sure will. Uh, this is, these lines are, you know, there's nothing out there that's really just by themselves anymore. And so, anyway, well, there's a little bit, but uh, this continues just to be a singular line unless something fantastic happens. Well, so that may be done. I can uh, go back to school. That's what it looks like. Uh, we've seen a line of storms in northwest Oklahoma growing up the scale and pose a widespread danger of wind damage. The forward motion is accelerating near 55 miles per hour. Yeah, we're not to have a squall line wind event here at 12. We'll see what happens. We'll be monitoring. I'm getting close to the house. Gave me five LLI. Okay. They've issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Tillman County, southeastern Knox County in Texas, western Wichita County in Texas, southeastern Hardeman County in Texas, Baylor County, Wilbarger County, north Western Archer County and Southeastern Fourth County until 7:15. At 625, severe thunderstorms are located along the line, extending from three miles northwest of Odell to three miles northwest of Lockett to 12 miles southeast of Vidalia to near Red Springs to three miles northwest of Miller's Creek Reservoir. It's moving east at 45 miles per hour. Hazards include. 60 to 65 mile an hour wind gusts, half dollar size to ping pong ball, ping pong ball size hail. Locations and factors include Burton, Frederick, Seymour, Electra, Chillicothe, Davidson, Goree, Grayback, Harold, Red Springs, Lockett, Fargo, Odell, Lake Hill, Maybell, Lake Diversion, Westover, Oakland Union, Farmington, and Rayland. Severe thunderstorm warning until 7:15. Uh, I'm back, Troy. All right. Well, you can take it over. Okie dokie. Have a good evening, KSIWM. 
Yeah, he said near Boone. Okay. Uh, try you over there. Yeah, uh, Terry, I was watching that before I got cored out. It, I would call it ragged rotation, nothing really organized, but you could definitely see the scud rolling. This is WX5 Go ahead. Yeah, well west of Apache, uh, kind of northeast of Boone right now. Roger that. Thank you, sir. We got a guy over there. He stay with it. Chevy 5 LLI. Clear. The end of WSC out of Norman reporting uh, the mezzanet size at ceiling up in Dewey County reported a thunderstorm wind gust of 50, measured of 58 miles per hour at 6.30. Keep it up again.
boy. Yeah, I'm unable to log in to NWS chat. Mine's gone. I can't even log in. But again. Last entry on chat said uh, they were monitoring some shear on the leading edge. I think they're talking about that storm at Highway 19 in Boone, KU5 NPG. Logged in, stay logged in. If you're logged out, you're logged out. I was constant at uh, reporting that broad rotation and nothing came up. And so I refreshed the valve. That was a mistake. Yeah, Wade, they got that report on 646 about. Uh, Broad rotation at 19 and boom from uh, Sri Lanka. Skyward. Okay, well, it never appeared on me, so I didn't know. And it's not letting me log back in either. I understand about an hour ago I logged out and it took it forever to get me back on. Pass it on to them and tell them they got problems. Yeah, mine is good. Oh, you in LLI? This is WX5. Oh, you in? Go ahead, sir. I'd like to report that the weather chat is not working but the amateur radio network is. Roger that, WX5 OUA. Thank you, sir, KB5 LLI. Uh, my weather chat just went dead, KU5 NPG. WX5 OUA. Yes, sir. Yeah, you and about a hundred other people have lost, uh, so we got server problems uh, looking into it. WX5, OU. You... All right. Well, if I want to disseminate some information, well, I've got a amateur radio network here we can use to get it back up. If you have anything for us, we'll holler at us, because that's the only way we can talk to you. KB5, a little lot. Five at a lock, AF5, AFO. Sir, okay, I got cored out. Probably your best bet to look off here back four so you have a better view of it than I will. Roger that. Got some pretty good inflow at in my back. Seems to be increasing a little bit. Hey, is there any way you can get back to the east? Yeah, I've made it to Brock, but I'll try and go east to uh, 62, but there's really no way to go east from there. Okay, I see uh, oh, a couple of lowered areas there uh, that are attached to the lowered area. Just going to be to the north of Apache, uh, north, I don't know if it's northwest, but anyway. Uh, it's, uh, 
It's rotating. Is it still pretty broad scale?
Colorado protector right now. Yeah, it's really getting windy out of the southwest right now. Weather alert.
pretty good shelf cloud that's out ahead of this, and the, the main area of concern is going to be to the west uh, right now. Uh, so anyway, just uh, stay with it. But yeah, it's kind of a, it's a, mainly a shelf cloud that's going on to the east, and then the area of concern is going to be back to the west a little ways. Roger that. JG Cloudy News.
forward, I'd just punch the X. When I was going back to mine, I may be off to who. Looks like there's a pretty good line down here in North Texas. It's going to be sweeping across us here in a little while. We'll log that in on Weather Chat. Quarters, current time to Weather Center, like Norman. <laughs> if I could. Maybe five LLI. Uh, you the LLI. Yes, sir. Uh, Norman, Norman, you coming through. Uh, about four miles north of Texas, 183. At 35, uh, 37 mile an hour wind gusts and uh, dime size hail and heavy rain. Okay, you had winds to 37 in Davidson. About how long ago? Current distance uh, would be 4 miles north of Davidson, 183. Have your wage you got that? Sounded, but uh, I'm down again. Do you have some hail with that, UWC? I'm multitasking. I ain't doing a very good job at any of it. Okay, Norman, wait, I'm back on. Okay. Okay. If y'all really want to know how it's done here in Oklahoma, TV Weather Storm Station, watch Channel 5. They've turned it into a commercial instead of a public service event. That's KOCO Channel 5, Oklahoma City. One big commercial. Because I got a new camera. Okay, be five a little. Quick update: the severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 7:30 for eastern Kiowa, southern Cano, uh, eastern central Jackson, north central Tillman, and northeastern Comanche County. At 7:14, a severe thunderstorm was located five miles west of Gracemont, moving northeast at 40 miles an hour, and severe thunderstorms were located between uh, Cooperton and Mears. Hail the size of golf balls were reported near Fort Cobb. This is wx 5 oun Thank you, Norman. Give me five LLI. GSL. Expected hazards include 60 miles an hour wind gusts and half dollar size hail. This is a radar indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind. Skyward. It let me in, Wade, but the last report that I had was at 5 o'clock. It's showing me nothing between five and now. It's nuts. Oh, you in, go ahead. Real thunderstorm warning remains in effect for Canadian County, Eastern Caddo County, and Northwestern Grady County until 8.15. The severe thunderstorm was located near Gracemont, moving northeast at 45 miles an hour. This is WX5 OUN. QSL, thank you, Norman. Give me five LLI. I'm back in there. It allowed me to ping, but I didn't get more pong, so I don't know. It shows your attempt at pinging, Terry, but it runs out. And you 
here as well. We've got the best thing. We've got oh, you're in talking to us. We don't need that other crap. Weather alert. The National Weather Service in Norman has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southeast Kiowa, Southern Caddo, Northeast Tillman, and Comanche counties till 815. At 725, a severe thunderstorm is located near Medicine Park. Movement is to the east of 40. Another strong to severe storm was located two miles east of Manatee. Ping pong ball size hell at 60 mile an hour wind gusts. This is radar indicated. Locations impacted. Lawton, Cash, Elgin, Apache, Snyder, Fletcher, Skyrill, Scalic, Mountain Park, Medicine Park, Indiahoma, Boone, Fort Sill, Mears, Lake Latonka, Lake Ellsworth, Tom C. Reservoir, Stetcher, and Wichita Wildlife Map. Uh, Reserve. This also includes Interstate 44 between mile markers 38 and 65. Thank you, Lake, and the final line. Traffic for the net, KB5 Alula. You might be able to get on to from over there the one four six six eight one four six six eight repeater in Clay County in Southern Clay County one four six six eight with a one ninety two dot eight tone. Yes, 
trying to remove the limbs off the trees. Hadn't yet, but it's trying to. It, Skyward, net active. Still 50 and above here. Get it. Better stick some nail limbs, tree limbs, and hold them together. I ain't going after it. And yeah, we'll stay in and just watch it out the window. The National Weather Service in Norman has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for eastern Cotton, western Jefferson, southwestern Stevens, southeastern Comanche, and Clay counties until 8.30 at 746. Severe thunderstorms were located along the line extending from near Baxton to near Ranlet to near Dean to near Lake Arrowhead to 12 miles southeast of Winthorpe. Movement is to the east at 35 to 40. Hazard, 60 mile an hour wind gusts, half dollar size hail. This is radar indicated. Carry by the pin. PM Central Daylight Time at 7.46 PM Central Daylight Time. Severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from near Jackson to near Rim to near Bean to near Lake and were headed to 12 miles south. Skyward. Weather radio monitor off. I continue with the winds over 50 miles an hour. What's your status? I've got 1.2 inches in the cage. Uh, I still have signs of smaller covering the ground from whenever they came through early. Times to what size? Times down to what it's melting down to by now. Okay. I know what size it was when it came through. I know that we were down south on an excursion. QSL. Uh, I just now, we're just now receiving our first rain of the night. And, but it is pouring like crazy. Wind still rocking between 35 and 55. Wild. 35 LLI. I say KFI Winds continue over 50 miles an hour at my location. Stay with five mile line. The plate glass windows are flexing at my house. Winds continue near 50. Crazy. Back to 57, 57 miles an hour. 752, 57 miles an hour, two miles west of Surreal. Severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 8.15 for Central Canadian, Southeastern Caddo, and Northwestern Grady Counties. At 7.53, a severe thunderstorm was located near El Reno, movement to the northeast of 45. As it includes 16 mile an hour winds and quarter size hail, this is radar indicated. Locations impact include El Reno, Anadarko, Utah, Mustang, Saddle, Union City, Minko, Okarchi, Sagamere, Grace, Montanto, Culver, and Lake Chickasha. This also includes Interstate 40 between mile markers 112 and 133. Take on the tent. K 
GSL. Um, it's uh, finally started raining here a bunch. 3.87 inch per hour rain rate. Quarter size hail and uh, one inch per hour rain rate, two miles south of Surreal. W5TNK. Alright, you got quarters? Turn time? Yeah, but just a few of them, hardly any. What was the other, the last part, Tim? Wind speed about 40, rain rate about uh, a little less than an inch per hour. We measured winds here just north of you at 62 there just a few ago. Okay. Quarter size hail, two miles south of Surreal current time. Are you in copy? KB5 LLI.
National National Weather Service in Norman has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Oklahoma, Southern Kingfisher, Northwestern McLean, Canadian, Logan, Grady, Northwestern Cleveland, and West Central Payne counties until 9 p.m. At 8 p.m., severe thunderstorms were along the line, extending from near Dover to near Mustang to three miles north of Eglom. Movements to the northeast at 50. As it includes 60 mile an hour wind gusts, quarter size hail, this is radar indicated. Locations impact include Oklahoma City, Southwest Norman, Edmond, Moore, Midwest City, Del City, El Reno, Chickasha, Guthrie, Newcastle, Blanchard, Kingfisher, Yukon, Bethany, Mustang, Choctaw, War Acres, The Village, Noble, and Tuttle. This also includes the following locations on Interstate 35 between mile markers 108 and 171, Interstate 40 between uh, mile markers 117 and 162, Interstate 44 between mile markers 70 and I-44, 144, and Interstate 240 between mile markers 1 and 13. Show you that yet. The measurement of the stations two miles south southeast of Chukishe just reported a 74 mile an hour wind gust at 8:10 p.m. Show you that again. Where was that report at, Wade? At uh, the Mezzanet site, uh, two miles south southeast of Chickasha, a uh, 74 mile an hour wind measured at 810. What was the wind speed that was recorded, Wade? 7474. Weather Service in Norman has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern McLean, northwestern Love, Jefferson County, Wilson Carter, Southern Grady, Stevens County, Western Garvin, and East Central Comanche until 9 p.m. At 8.19, severe thunderstorms were along the line, extending from four miles southeast of Sterling to three miles west of Comanche to near Sedgden to three miles southeast of Carroll. Movements to the east at 45, 60 mile an hour winds, and half dollar size hail. This is radar indicated. Locations impact include Duncan, Marlowe, Warica, Long Grove, Lindsay, Hilton, Wilson, Comanche, Rush Springs, Bray, Ringling, Ryan, Sterling, Velma, Alex, Foster, Tatum, Bradley, Loco, and Ratliff City. Show that again. Thank you, Wade. KB5 LLI. Just had another power blink out. I'm rebooting. Again.
What's your name? Yeah, that last power flash. You think you take my internet off? Yeah, it does the same thing here. I'm rebooting. I'll be back here in just a second. Later, are you back up yet? Negative, I'm getting there though. QST, QST, National Weather Service has canceled the Tornado Watch 109 for the following areas. In Oklahoma, Alfalfa, Blaine, Dewey, Major, in southwest Oklahoma, Cano, Kiowa, and Tillman. In western Oklahoma, Custer, Washita, and in northern Texas, Archer, and Wichita. Uh, tornado remains in effect until midnight for Canadian, Kingfisher, McLean, Pottawatomie, Cleveland, Lincoln, Oklahoma, Grady, Logan, Payne, in eastern Oklahoma, Pontotoc, Seminole, northern Oklahoma, Garfield, Noble, Grant, and Kay, southwest Oklahoma, Atoka, or southeast Oklahoma, Atoka, Hughes, Bryan, Johnson, Cole, Marshall, southern Oklahoma, Tornado remains in, tornado watch remains in effect for Carter, Love, Garvin, Murray, Jefferson, Stevens, and Southwest Oklahoma, Comanche, and Cotton. And still in effect for Clay County, the county of Clay, in 5 a.m. Okay, Corey, I'm back up now. Okay, that again. Okay. It's a invest in a UPS in 5 a.m. Back out. Hey, I have one, Troy. That's what saves the computer from being blown up. Every time cotton. Never mind, I ain't gonna say that. Skyward net active. Com center four fifth four eleven beginning around the station. I was a station carry five and eleven. That's the wrong microphone there, Jerry. Roger, I'm out here mobile. Raindrops hitting the windshield, making a little bit of racket. I saw the, almost saw the sunset, but then it's uh, built back to the west or something or other, because it's still getting it. Four miles south of Antarctica. So they got an active tornado warning in far northeast Oklahoma County. Uh, real small one, but it's a tornado. Uh, is it in Edmond or where is that? So close to Arcadia. Do they have a real tornado or just indicated on radar, I wonder? Uh, this is a real McCoy. Uh, um, Dominic or, uh, friends spotted it. The Dominic was all the way down in the southwest corner. I'm glad I'm not paying his gas bill. Uh huh, no kidding. Or the tickets. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is, uh, this was actually spotted. Plus, you know, they had this real confirmed uh, with it, with radar, so 
a real small one. Uh, it's uh, right now north of Arcadia. Well, now that this is over, I'm getting heavier rain than I had earlier, and it's lightning like crazy. Something's changing somewhere. Oh yeah, we we getting good rain down here. I got a new severe thunderstorm warning for West Central Bryan, Southeast McLean, Johnson, Eastern Love, Carter, Western Pontotoc. Murray, Marshall, and Garvin counties until 9.45. At 8.54, severe thunderstorms were located along the line extending from three miles southeast of Lindsay to near Tatum to four miles east of Wilson to near Bernieville. Movement is east, 50 to 60 miles an hour. Another severe storm will move move into southern Oklahoma from North Texas near Stackerville and Marietta. As it includes 65 to 70 mile an hour wind gusts at dollar size hail. This is radar indicated. Care by the pin. Alrighty. Well, all's well at the store. We had mops and water up, but other than that, everything's fine. So we're headed back south. Every time they little up. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to bug out of here in about 5 to 10. Uh, I'm sorry, but this is stuff i got to take care of. Roger that. Maybe Troy's waiting in the wings. I don't know. We'll call him the closer. Uh, what? I said we'll call him the closer. N5 VIN KB5 LLA. What? Uh, Wade's got to go. You want to take it for a little bit? Or I'll do it whenever I get home. Give me a few minutes. I got something. Roger. All right, you bug out, Wade. Whenever you get ready, and I'll take it here in a bit, and I'll be home about five or six or eight. Okay. All right. Thanks, guys. Okay, by the team, please.
Southeastern Oklahoma. At 9:47, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located four miles northwest of Mil Mildred, Milburn, moving northeast at 50. Hazards in the warning include a tornado and quarter-size hail. This year's radar indicated rotation. Once again, tornado warning for East Central Johnston County in southeastern Oklahoma until 10:15. KB5 Lilla. QST, 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 all amateurs. This is KB5 Lilla with the Southwest Independent Repeater Association Severe Weather Traffic Net. This time we're going to stand the net down for the evening. We appreciate the efforts of all out there that participated and helped us with our operation. This is KB5 LLI net control. Clear. X5, MCG mobile. Yeah, go ahead. I just wanted to uh, say thank you for uh, your uh, network that you got set up here and uh, thanks for uh, handling that control today with uh, the issues we had uh, out west. Roger. Uh, today wasn't no big deal. May 3rd, 1999. Make a believer out of anybody. That was the day. Thank you, SL. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not just you, uh, Wade and the rest of your team did an outstanding job today, and uh, from the from the guys on the field, we sure do appreciate it. Yeah, you're quite welcome. We appreciate you guys being out there and sending your reports up the pike. If it wasn't for y'all, there wouldn't be really a reason to be here. KB5 LLI. Thank you, Steve. WX5, energy mobile clear. Thank you. 